Broadcasting to you live from Paradise here in Trinidad and Tobago. This morning inside your spotlight, we're going to discover Paradise. Now, the universities will be screening two films from the Paradise Discovered series, which are The Unbreakable Virgin Islands. And these films chronicles the resilience of the residents of the U.S. Virgin Islands following Hurricanes Irma and Maria back in 2017. There will also be an interactive seminar with the filmmaker Peter Bailey. Peter joins us this morning alongside anthropologist, historian, and senior lecturer at the Department of Literary, Cultural, and Communication Studies at the UE, Dr. Keith McNeil. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy to have you guys in my presence this morning. Yes, likewise, likewise. <laughs> Peter, I'm going to come to you first. Um, I saw the trailer for the for the film. I haven't seen the film as yet, but I've just seen the devastation that happened to, of course, the residents um, mm -hmm. back in 2017. An interesting name among the devastation, Paradise Discovered. And I was wondering, how did you get that name for such a series? First off, Kimberly, I'm happy to be on the best show in the Caribbean. <laughs> yes, best yes show in the that's Caribbean. what we're talking about. Um, yeah. So. When the storms hit, some colleagues of mine wrote a headline of me in, in the States and it said, Paradise Lost. And the vision was, I don't think the larger world knows who we are as people. Yeah. I think for the most part, especially in the region of the U.S. Virgin Islands, it's a tourism focused place. So I think when people think of us as a postcard, they think we're not real people, it's a caricature. So Paradise is covered as a play on words because these films are about getting to know who we are, the soul, the strength of who we are. Yeah. So these films are really a celebration of our resilience beyond just the vacation, basically. Yeah. Now, in addition to that celebration, because there was the first one and then there was a 2.0, yes. so what are the plans for the first film and did that change when you redid the second or the, the, uh, the uh, sequel? Great question. The, the first film was really in distress because that film was produced when, you know, I lost a house in that storm. Mm. So the first film, it was resilience, resilience. And then, after that, in the news, they kept talking about Caribbean people, we're so resilient. But I'm like, where do we go from here? Because res resilience, I mean, we're just gonna keep getting whipped. So 2.0 talks about, we're in this very interesting intergenerational shift in the Caribbean, where do we modernize, do we innovate, or do we stay true to our culture? So 2.0 really addresses, it's a question. Mm -hmm. A lot of my work asks a question. I don't have the answer. So the question is, as Caribbean people, how do we move forward to create a sustainable community but still remain true to our culture. Yeah. And that's kind of the, the, the film is, is, is dealing with that question and, and, and the challenges of that. Yeah. Dr. McNeil, I'm coming to you because mm. I think it's interesting that you invited Peter um, mm. for people to see these films. And I'm wondering, mm. you know, what was your thought process going in to the partnership with Peter mm. and what does you, we intend to get out of this partnership? Mm. Well, it's interesting. I was living in Houston. I was teaching at the University of Houston um, in 2017 when Hurricane Harvey, uh, Hurricane Harvey, which was part of the trio of, of storms, Maria, Irma, and Harvey, mm -hmm. we got pummeled in Houston while, you know, Irma and Maria were devastating the Caribbean. And so I read his op-ed in the New York Times about has, the, has America forgotten the U.S. Virgin Islands? And so that's how we connected. And I was going to bring him to Houston, but then COVID hit. Mm -hmm. Then I came to UE, and so we're here now. Um, but I'm, we're, we're, uh, the Department of Literary, Cultural, and Communication Studies is partnering with the film program to bring him and to really, you know, think about filmmaking, but also telling the stories and asking the questions. What does it mean to be small, vulnerable island states with climate so you change definitely and see global some similarities warming? similarities between the U.S. Virgin Islands and us in TNT. Everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere is dealing with it, you know, but especially small island states are especially vulnerable. Yeah. yeah. I know that a lot of talk has been happening about climate change. I mm. mean, is that something that you want your students to take away from this as well? Um, definitely. It's, it's interesting because if you look at climate change, the people causing it, it's not in the Caribbean, but it's, it's going to affect the Caribbean, the Caribbean mm. most. Yeah. So Irma Maria, I like to say that the Virgin Islands, the region that got hit with those storms, we're kind of like, we were the preview to what's mm. coming for the rest of the world. So um, I think these are issues, I think right now in society, you know you have issues of race, you have issues of the economy, but if we don't have a planet to live on, 
there's nothing to fight about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So climate change to me right now, it mm -hmm. should be a focus on, on all our minds, especially mm -hmm. in, in this region of the world. Yeah, and as we look towards, so we're talking about climate change on one end, but of course what we have in TNT is a very big uh, fossil fuel economy, but mm -hmm. we have also discussed diversification of the, mm, of the economy. And so do you think this can also be a catalyst for how we can look at diversification and sort of move away from that fossil fuel sometime in the uh, future? Kimberly, it has to. Um, after the storms, we are just a tourism based, right? So you take away the vacation and the world is looking at us, uh, at us in the Virgin Islands like, well, you're not useful anymore. So when you look at film, film can create a whole industry. And not only create a whole industry, mm -hmm. when you have a young community of kids, when I go speak to the kids today, owning their story, mm -hmm. understanding their narrative, and it instills a sense of pride and identity. And I think it, 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 that type of fervor can really uplift who we are as a mm -hmm. people. In the, and I think when you say Trinidad, the USVI, I just see one Caribbean. Yes. I don't see the difference. I just see one Caribbean, different flavors, different vibes. Basically. Yeah. So then are we experiencing, Dr. McNeely, mm -hmm. you want to say something? Well, I was just going to big mm -hmm. up Film TT, who's also partnering with us at UE, the film program and my department, to bringing in secondary school students from three schools yeah. today. We're doing a half-day workshop on careers in filmmaking and journalism, raising the issues, but also really putting it out there, you know, thinking about creative careers outside of, you know, the usual kind of conventional script. Yeah. Well, tell us about these sessions, because I know it begins mm -hmm. this morning with the interactive mm -hmm. session before we move on to the screening, yes? Mm -hmm. So tell us about it. Yeah, this morning, a half-day workshop um, at the UE Film Program, uh, working with students, uh, thinking about careers in filmmaking and journalism. Mm -hmm. And then this evening, we have a screening of the first Virgin Islanders awesome. film, The Unbreakable Virgin Islanders, 6 p.m., film building on Carmody Street in St. Augustine. Um, we have the filmmaker to have a Q&A, so we'll see the first one this evening, and then tomorrow at 5 p.m., we're going to see the recent one, which is like five months old maybe now. Yeah, it's just like brand that. new. Yeah. And Kimberly, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the kids, you know, because <laughs> I think, man, mm. they're the future here, so I'm really looking forward to connecting with them, because I've been told that Trinidad is really is innovating in the film industry. Mm -hmm. You guys are mm -hmm. kind of pushing yes. that, that wave, so I'm, I'm excited about that. Mm. Yeah, nice. Now, I know that you say you're excited to, you know, um, you know, have that conversation with the kids and that and sort of thing, but going back to something you said in terms of that tourist destination, mm -hmm. do you think we can be more than that then? We have to. We're not going to survive if we don't. Because but how can we mm -hmm. make that step towards transitioning? Think about it. When you think of tourism, right, our people are usually the service industry. We're usually the waiters. Mm -hmm. We're usually the bus boys. We need to be the owners. We need to be basically be the executives at the hotels. So in the Virgin Islands, we've been having a lot of discussions with different developers and our leaders in, okay, how do we create a program where our students have an apprenticeship program to learn how to be an ex on the executive level in the hospitality industry? Mm -hmm. So we own a piece of it. We're not just spectators in this, right? Because I think that in, in, in the Caribbean, we enable everyone's pleasure. So it's time that we kind of own a piece of that paradise. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, that's where that vision is. Basically. And then how can we get the young people to also buy mm -hmm. into that product? Because if we look at it now, it's the older generation who's yes. in charge of the hotels, they're the one yes. who's doing the operations, all that sort of thing. And so how do we get young people to get that interest and then eventually take over someday? I appreciate their story. You know, I'm a storyteller. It's nothing like when people see themselves on the big screen. It's magical. And it's like, wow, that's mm. me. So it, it, it says I'm more than just giving you a drink on a beach. Mm. Yeah. And in terms of the curriculum, um, mm. it, what is UE doing to develop the, 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 the film program and even, you know, get more people interested in film and mm. as uh, Peter is saying, tell our stories? Yeah, well, there's a lot happening at UE. The, there's a new entire pr uh, building for the film program. They're moving mountains. We're also developing, um, I'm developing a course on culture and climate change for the cultural studies program, but that's also connected to a, an entire UE system-wide uh, new initiative, um, a master's in science, an MSc in climate studies, and it's a system-wide effort, interdisciplinary, natural sciences, social sciences, engineering, and it's a, it's a really exciting moment. It's just recently been approved, so now it's been being operationalized, and it's, I think, going to start within the next year or so. So, nice. so actually, <clears throat> post-grad training in climate studies, interdisciplinary, to help people, you know, develop climate literacy, disaster literacy, so, and then tell stories, utilize creative industries to help 
ask the questions and think. I mean, we need everyone thinking together and innovating together, and no one person's going to have the solution, you know? Kimberly, L.A. was a desert. Hmm. Hollywood was a desert. So was uh, Las Vegas. Look at yeah? it now. Mm -hmm. Film industry. So yeah. yeah. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Now, I'm coming back to you, and I want to get personal a little bit, Peter. Please do. Me. So, I'm on the best morning yeah. show in the Caribbean. Come on now. <laughs> Your mom is Angolan. Yes. Dad was born in Shagona. Shagona, yes. You were born in USVI. Yes. You now live in Miami, which yes, we joked is also a little Caribbean mm. of its yes. own. Yes. So you were like a Caribbean man. A pot poor in the Caribbean. A whole <laughs> mixture, right? Yeah. I'm wondering how did that influence your filmmaking mm. and the way how you tell stories? Uh, mm. that, that's a quick question. Um, so after the, you know, I've been a journalist in America, mm -hmm. writing for Time Magazine, New York Times, Newsweek, producing for NBC. So I'm telling stories for years. So these storms hit, and no one told our story. And then I'll be honest with you, I, I told a buddy, it's like I had a reincarnation of, yo, I'm Caribbean. Because, mm -hmm. you know, when you come from the U.S. Virgin Islands, we're a hybrid. Mm -hmm. You travel, my Caribbean cousin, like, you're not really Caribbean. Then I'm in America, you're not really American. So we're in this weird space, but I think the U.S. Vietnam is very important because we're attached to we're, we're America in the Caribbean. So all of that has created this. I'm like, I see the world in these different lenses. I have these dif different experiences. Yeah. Um, but I arguably say I think that's the future of the world. I think with the Internet and social media, we become a global society. So I don't think we live in fragmented spaces anymore. So I think that... Um, just being, I remember growing up, and my father used to tell my mother, you from a small, you from Anguilla, I'm from Trinidad. <laughs> and now I understand, because I'm in this country, it's an impressive country. Yeah. But yeah, I'm happy to be like a kaleidoscope of yes. all islands, yeah. basically. Nice. Well, I appreciate you, of course, Dr. McNeil, uh, McNeil of course, uh, Mr. Billy. thank you so much for coming in. Just remind us again, uh, Dr. McNeil, tonight, tomorrow, what time for the screenings? This evening at 6 p.m., mm -hmm. tomorrow evening, 5 p.m., both events are being held at the uh, UE Film Program Building on Carmody Street in St. Augustine. Nice. And we have the opportunity to have a Q&A with Absolutely. Mr. Billy himself. Yes. Yes. Gentlemen, thank you so much Thanks for coming for in. Us. Um, congratulations on all the work that you're doing with the films. Yeah. I look forward to seeing what's next in store, because I know you have some stuff of in the course. pipeline. Always. And <laughs> Dr. McNeil, thank you so much for what you've been doing for the film program and the curriculum at UE. Thank you guys so much. Of course. Thanks for having <laughs> us. And of course, that was Mr. Peter Bailey, the filmmaker, of course, for the Unbreakable Virgin Islanders, those two series. And we have Dr. McNeil who is a senior lecturer at the UV talking about a very, very interesting series that's taking place tonight and, of course, tomorrow at the UV. You're on the Now Morning Show. We're going to take a break and be right back. But stay with us because up next, we take your phone calls. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. 